intersect in mysterious ways. We're tied together by the secrets we keep and open to the harm that secrets bring. So, here we are again. You remember me, right? The big bad virus we met a while ago. I have to be honest, I was a little worried about our last meeting. I thought I'd given away too much. Classic villain era, the tell-all explanation, the big reveal that makes it practically possible to defeat me. Because let's face it, as far as villains go, I'm pretty easy to defeat. Or at least avoid. It's not easy being me these days. Everyone is out to get me. It's very difficult to get a foot in the door. But it's not impossible. Your minds are these incredibly complex warp machines that basically cease to function when sex is involved. Good news for me, not so great news for you. It never ceases to amaze me. Even the most intelligent among you make such terrible decisions, and basically because you refuse to talk to each other. You're more than happy to swap bodily fluids, but to swap actual truths? Never. People will get hurt that way. So instead you get caught up in this chain reaction of self-destruction, all the while hurting the very people you claim to be protecting. And some of you even keep secrets from yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> That's a skill right there. Don't ever change, humanity. If you did, I'll be done and dusted. I know, I'm being condescending. Well, which for me is okay, because let's face it, villain, but even villains should have some basic manners, right? So here we go, because I'll be honest, I like to brag a little. I knew these guys were going to be fun. The star-crossed lovers. Two beautiful youngsters from feuding families brought together by destiny and hormones, but mostly destiny. And of course, because of the feuding families, they have to keep their affair secret. This I think. <laughs> ah, young love. Nothing raises passion and lowers inhibition like sharing a secret. But wait, our lovers are so secure in their devotion that they actually want to go public and bring an end to the feud. <laughs> you think that would be bad for me, and usually it would be. If their parents weren't hiding something too. This is the moment where everything could have changed. If Loazi had been honest here, he would have spared his family a whole lot of pain. If he had been honest here, then none of this would have happened. Just in case you missed it, my name is V, as in H-I-V. And what I want, more than anything, is you. It all starts with a single lie. And like a stone dropped in a pond, creates ripples that spread further and further than anyone could have imagined. The first ripple laps at Nomzamo's feet, her mother together with Zolile's father. A single secret that changes everything. 
She'll never be able to trust anyone ever again. Even worse, she might have slept with her brother. That's a deliciously dirty, shameful secret. Just the kind I love. Will she tell her brother slash lover? And so, another secret is born. God, I love peer pressure. He's terrified. He's found the one, but he can't tell his friends. Because he thinks that this is how men are supposed to feel. When <laughs> danger? I called the man. Just not in the mood. Okay. Snap could make a holiday lap. Jella would see Bowen, Danny. Hmm? Before I can't send in this. I bowen out some jail. Good thing you shouldn't jail when you love in the hill. Yeah. And this is where secrets and sex intersect. Observe. I don't like that. Just like that, an affair in the Eastern Cape changes the life of a sweaty girl trying to make it in Jersey forever. Only these people just talk to each other. Wonder how Kanye is dealing with her feelings? Think she's working through them in an open and honest way? Consulting her friends and family for help in a constructive way? <laughs> No. Why should she face her feelings when she could change her hair? This wouldn't have anything to do with Zoli Lena, would it? Lie. Okay, you told her to me, but this look. Lie. 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 And where there lies, there are secrets. Book, delete her foods. Of course, Kanye isn't the only one with secrets. Meet her roommate, Bunkle. Baby girl has a closet full of secrets of her own. Oh, yeah. And her lovers have secrets. And their lovers have secrets. But we'll get back to that later. First, let's follow through with Kanye. Being okay, the good girl didn't get the guy. So now it's time to be the bad girl. Live in the moment. For the obligatory notices. That's the kind of attitude I love. Because when you don't care about your future, then your future is me. I'll be making my decision on the recipient of the prestigious London Apprenticeship Award. Sex isn't just about the physical act, it's power. It's giving up or giving in. It's revenge or affirmation. It's love, it's a mistake. Sex has meaning and how you feel about it depends on whatever is going on in your head at the time. And only you know what it means, right? It's your little secret. That's Kanye's dirty little secret. She needs to feel loved, and she doesn't care who picks her, as long as someone does, even if that someone is breaking all the rules. I'm a professor, you're a student. You know, this isn't a good idea. I should have stopped this a long time ago. Enter Rosie, the other woman, 
the first woman. Zeke's dirty little secret. One of many. Now, Rosie, I don't know if this is a good idea. The recipient of the prestigious London Internship Award is Kanya. Well, didn't you? You can lie to yourselves. You can lie to each other. You can run and you can hide. But truth has a way of pushing through the smallest cracks. The question is whether it comes out before or after. I have paid you a visit. If only Kanya had listened to Rosie, but she didn't. And when the truth came out, she was one of the first casualties. There is going to be an investigation. If only Kanya had listened to Rosie, but she didn't. Kanya made her choices. And Rosie? Well, Rosie and I are just getting to know each other. You guys get really weird when it comes to sex. You've turned getting laid into this crazy, creepy little act that everyone's doing but no one talks about, like it's something to be ashamed of. To which I can only say, good job. The less you communicate, the better it is for me. This makes me wonder, why am I still talking? It's because there are people like Rosie's mother in the world. Meet Ma Agnes. She makes my job so easy. Who are you foot? Hey, assist. Matron. Hey, matron. She's the reason people keep secrets. She thinks that sex should be a shameful, secret, hidden thing, especially when it comes to young people. She believes that young people who have sex should be judged and shamed, not helped and advised. As far as she's concerned, STIs are just punishment for having the audacity to try sex. All great news for me, because uninformed people make uninformed choices. Choices like me. What are you doing? 16. When? 16. 15. How same man? That's beauty. When she walked into this clinic, I thought I'd missed my chance with her. 15 years old and already taking responsibility for her actions. True, she had an STI, but she wanted to do the right thing. She wanted to get medical advice. After all, an untreated STI makes it so much easier for me to slip into your life. Uh, Ang again. Hi, Manj. It's Kata D. I wish all healthcare workers were like her. She firmly believes that sex is immoral. Here's the thing, I don't care about morality. I'll take them all. Secrets breed secrets. Agnes never talked to Rosie about sex, and now Rosie can't talk to Agnes about anything. What's <laughs> your name? Agnes, I'm going to go to Agnes thought she was protecting Rosie by not talking to her about sex. If she didn't know about it, then she wouldn't want to do it, right? If Agnes had given Rosie the space to ask about sex and to talk to her honestly, this may never have happened. And if she'd never fallen pregnant, she'd never have miscarried. And if she'd never miscarried, should never have run away from home, bruised and alone. Mm. 
Ngiyo sala kwa mzala for a while. Sawa na anti. Ang sakon mina manj. Musok na keke. Yega. Parents, keep up the secrets. Works better for me in the long run. Rosie has lived with her party girl cousin Spe for six months. She's laying low, keeping her mouth shut, kept her secret. She thought she was safe. And then two step Hadebe walked into her life. Smooth, suave, sophisticated, a real man's man in more ways than one. We'll get to that. All we care about right now is that Rosie seems to have caught two steps eye. At least in the number. Do it. You can't be miserable for the rest of your life. He's everyone's dream man. Maybe he can make you feel better. Good girl. I love it when you people drink to forget. Because the first thing you forget is how to take care of yourselves. Hey, hey. Oh. What? I'm on my touch. There's a tip, guys, because I hate it when you make things too easy for me. If you have to get drunk to have sex, you probably shouldn't be having sex. Stop! Stop! Weird. See that side eye? Two Steps Buddy almost looks jealous. Another web of lies. But we'll get to that later. And then there were Because this is where the horror show begins. For me, at least. Hagna Luta, okay? Galan Pumen Gim, do. Krumanam, sis. Don't do it, Rosie. Don't tell them the truth. Wanku Mutungi Sanga Tuyasi, who think and say, Miss Pei. I'm a poor penguin, Miss Seal. As the loot of my mother's will again. Tommy, what can I do for you to help? Yes, guys, Ukuba Konawe Nula has already helped me so much. So, Mina Enebing Sabu Gunjala, because being Kaban Gutsin Klame, Nizom Jaja or something. Yeah, I guess I'm going to lock. This is why I hate these girls. They're all about Zazi and owning their behavior, about love and acceptance. They talk to each other about doing the dance. They carry condoms and they don't care who knows it. They look out for each other. And now they're rubbing off on Rosie. She had such promise and now she's telling her secrets and finding herself. If all friendships were this open, I'd be in serious trouble. Fortunately, they're not. More of you are like Sizwe and Two Step, unlike Rosie and the girls. What's wrong with Two Step? Everything. At least that's what he thinks. Imagine the kind of fantasies he's having with so many women around him. If only everyone knew what was going on behind that smile and what he does behind closed doors, or who he does, his best friend sees way. Is it really so terrible to love another man? A lot of you seem to think so. You judge each other so harshly for so many ridiculous reasons. I love it. 
Because of you, Two-Step thinks he should be ashamed. Because he's ashamed, he keeps his secret. Is it a secret worth destroying your life over? Two-Step seems to think so. Two-Step. I'm going to talk about the hottest players in Zanz. I'm going to talk about the hottest players in Zanz. I'm going to talk Another moment where Two-Step could change everything. Let's look at what would happen if he had come out. And I'm gay. The very worst thing he can imagine. Two-Step's club might drop him. He might lose his endorsements. But then, life starts to turn around. After all, talent is talent. Doesn't matter who you sleep with. And just like secrets, truth ripples into the world. Two-Step becomes a role model for all the young men struggling being open about their sexuality. A voice for those who don't feel they can speak. He becomes a hero. So that's what the truth will bring Two-Step. And a lie? Well, it must bring something much better, right? Much better. A fake relationship, grimy trysts with prostitutes, blackmail and deception. A hundred bad decisions, a hundred open doorways for me to slip through. We bet money. And in the end, the truth comes out anyway. But at least he waited long enough for me to really get a grip in his life. If he had given up his secrets when Rhea first asked, well, I'd have had a lot less access than I do now. And of course, Sizwe would not have become one of my closest allies. Hey, look who it is. Buntle. Remember her? I told you we'll see her again. The Umlands. Which one is so good when it's so sweet. Don't they make a cute couple? Almost perfect, aren't they? Maybe on the surface, but what lurks beneath? Godwin. Bunkler's Minister of Finance. Something nice. Not to regret it, but I just didn't have time. Thanks. Man, I love it when you guys cheat. So suddenly, a relationship isn't just about two people. It becomes about others and their secrets, their lovers' secrets. And their secrets about their lovers. And their lovers' secrets about their lovers. Soon the relationship is just crowded with lies. And when lies flourish, well then, the door is open for me. Bontle can't say no to Godwin. She doesn't like him, but his wallet comes in handy. Meanwhile, Bontle loves Sizwe. And when you love someone, you don't ask them to use a condom, right? It's far better for me if you give up your condoms because you don't want to offend each other. Sizwe knows Bontle's cheating, but he fell out of love with her when he fell for two-step. He's numb inside, and as long as Bontle is bringing in the cash, he doesn't care who she sleeps with. You said nothing. King happy with the banyo sound treating you. Come to my hotel. Most people use their secrets to protect the ones they love. Not Godwin. Mm, brother is cold as ice. He uses secrets to manipulate people, to control. Guess that's why he's my favorite. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? A loving husband and his wife. But for Godwin, sex isn't about love, it's about power. And with Buntle gone, he's just about due for a new victim. Say someone like... Khadima. 
sweet, innocent, pure. You would think she was incorruptible, and she would be if she wasn't so bored with her life. I'm a volunteer outreach. So I'm going to get some lunch. I'm going to get some lunch next time. I'm going to get some lunch. I'm going to get some lunch. I'm going to get Work, work, work. And save, save, save. I'm going to get some lunch. 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 And live happily ever after. The problem is, Khadima doesn't want happily ever after. She wants passion, excitement, intrigue. And she has no idea how to tell her fiancé that. Godwin and Khadima, a match made in hell. Passion can be intoxicating, especially when you've never experienced it before. And Khadima gets hooked quickly. Khadima has never done anything like this before. For a while, the secrecy makes everything better. Hello. Thank you, my dad. Looks nice. Thank you. But you can only ignore reality for so long. Eventually, the truth will come out. And when Khadima sees the lipstick, she realizes that she's not Godwin's only little dish on the side. Okay. Man, man. And Khadima suddenly understood that she was in grave danger. She decided to keep her secrets. And did keeping her secrets leave her better off? Not so much. Meet Nelwe and Khadima. Two names, two lives, one person. Confused? So is she. Is my business. By day, Khadima, or should I say Nelwe, is the loving and dutiful girlfriend to Clyde. But by night, thick head party girl, <laughs> using drugs to numb the pain. Understand the drugs. Some secrets are so overwhelming that you'd rather kill yourself than deal with them. Look, I'm not complaining, but take a look at that. Is it really worth it? This is where it gets less fun for me. Okay, 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 Khadima finally has to face facts and get help. But at least she set me up with a whole new network of connections before she cleaned up her act. Hell of a ride so far, right? Hundreds of people with hundreds of secrets for different reasons, and all of them giving me a helping hand along the way. 
It's soon time for the big finish. A return to that original secret, where that first lie first rippled outward. What's that? You haven't seen your favorite character. You want to know why? Well, watch this and take a wild guess. Nathan. There's nothing to worry about. Chloe? Why'd you lie? What have you got to hide, Chloe? Who are you with, Chloe? Who are you with? See, not everyone in this drama is a coward. Not all of them are too scared to grapple with the truth. Yeah. You know what? I'll break it off with him today. Until you test it out. It, um, it seems you are not producing any spam at all. Um, Namigi is not spam at all. I don't know what I'm saying. Content meeting I've got done after that. I don't know what I'm saying. Lord knows I don't deserve you. They say truth hurts. Well, it hurts no one more than me. So, let's do this quickly now. This is how it goes. Monso, local tough guy who only picks on people weaker than himself. Raped, Lorraine. <laughs> Open, out, fearless. Those who live their lives without fear terrify men like Monso. He found her only weak spot, but Lorraine knows the power of the truth. I haven't seen her since that night. I'm way more familiar with Monso. Next! This clown, Stum. I thought for sure he was mine. He slept with not one, but two girls, without protection. That's pretty much begging me to come to the party. And then, this. He goes to the clinic, he gets treated for his STI, and even worse, he informs his partners and tells them to get treated. He takes the nurse's advice and gets circumcised. That's not cool. It's teasing, it's what it is. Can we help you? Uh, yes, uh, Stumo. I called. Um. <laughs> I tried again here. Mandy was desperate for love, Sudumo was too embarrassed to tell her he couldn't have sex. A perfect moment for me. I'm in. Unless they actually talk to each other. Do you want to take us to the bedroom? When they're cut. You know what, just get out. What? Got circumcised. That's Sudumo's problem. He's a compulsive truth teller. And I hate him quite a lot for it. I thought I had another shot at Stumo's family when I got a look at his father, Musa, the cheating polygamist. Oh. Uh. But his wives had the courage to confront him. <laughs> Musa learned that lying and cheating had consequences, and he lost not only his mistress, but one of his wives as well. Tapello cheats frequently. He tells himself it doesn't count because he only loves his wife, so he doesn't have to tell her. What she doesn't know can't hurt her, right? Mm. 
Perfection! Lerato catches him, and instead of freaking out or destroying his life, she packs him condoms. So obviously I was preparing their Welcome to the Family t-shirts when Tapelo surprised everyone and actually acted responsibly. Wait, wait. Why do people keep ruining my plans? It's not fair. Yes, I'm the villain, but I'm not that bad, am I? I'm not Ebola. Come on, give the virus a chance. That put me in a bad mood. Okay, calming thoughts. Hey, look, it's Cedric. Bet you never guess who he ended up with. Yep, it's Nomzam. Moved up to the big city to try and outrun her past. What's this now? Nomzam were back together with Zolile. The young lovers reunited, about to wed. In this tangled web of lies and secrets, how did these two find each other? They didn't. Just a dream. Gotcha! It never happened. It's been two years, guys. They've moved on. And they're probably related, so... Ugh. Unless, maybe, one of them hasn't moved on. Say the one who doesn't know they're related, Zolile, who only knows that two years ago his whole world shifted and he's been killing time ever since. Today though, reality comes crashing down. No more waiting, no more hoping, it's over. And besides, I missed you. I'm going to go. Looks familiar, right? Pretty much the same way he dealt with his breakup with Namzamo two years ago. People never change. classified as a threesome when there are only two real people here? I guess it can be if the guy accidentally proposes to the vision of his ex-girlfriend while in bed with his current girlfriend. Not an easy secret to explain away. So naturally, he doesn't. Instead, he starts doing all the right things. All the things you're supposed to do in a real relationship. The only problem? He's in love with someone else. I call you my lady. I call you the sister. I call you the lord. Welcome to adulthood. You have tested positive for HIV. Bit of a dilemma for Zolile here. He'd really love to be able to speak to Nomzamo again, but probably not to say, hi, hope you're well, better go have an HIV test. <laughs> Secrets, man. Where would I be without them? Try to paper over your past love by faking a relationship in five years, you'll both be miserable and ripe for infidelity. And so it goes. For every secret that gives me a way in, there's a truth that stops me in my tracks. Finally, after all this time together, we're reaching the end.
and Zolile has returned home to stir up the truth with a vengeance. It started with a simple love affair, a tiny secret between two young lovers. Mama, Dada Wako. Lies stacked on secrets to protect people who didn't need protecting. All it would have taken in the last 20 years was one confession. And none of this would have happened. If Noctula had confessed that Zolile wasn't Luazi's son, then Zolile never would have been sent away. If Luazi and Koleka had confided their fears, then Nomzamo and Zolile could have dealt with the consequences instead of running and hiding. If Nomzamo had told Zolile why she was breaking up with him, Zolile wouldn't have spent two years lashing out in pain. He would never have hurt Kanya the way he did, and Kanya would still be in school. And if 20 years ago, Luazi and Koleka had stood up for their love, none of this would have happened. One lie and a thousand ripples. But you know what they say, right? Better late than never. In the end, your heroes did find the courage to speak out, to share their difficult secrets. They broke the silence. The truth came out. And with it, my free ride came to an end. You know, for the first time in a long time, I have to consider the possibility that I might actually lose this battle. Every time you tell your partner the truth, every time you use a condom, or go for testing, or get circumcised, or look after your health, or take your ARVs, all these things make my life tougher. The simple truth, keep this up and I'm out of here. Finished. Toast. Pelile. Done. But enough with the philosophy. Time for the big reveal. Who infected who in the series? <laughs> well, you're going to be disappointed because that's the wrong question. Yes, it is. And what's the right question? Well, my friends, you're going to have to work that out for yourselves. Lives into.
intersect in mysterious ways. We're tied together by the secrets we keep and open to the harm that secrets bring. Interact with intersections on your favorite SABC radio stations.